thank you for your kindness and thank you for your love. Thank you. Your grace is always sufficient for us, Jehovah Lord. Mm. And your love is abounding in us, Jehovah Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory, for giving us the opportunity to come into your house today mm. to worship you and to give you praise, mm. to adore you, Jehovah Lord, and to acknowledge with our lips and everything that we have that you are Jehovah God. Mm. Today we exalt your name. For there is no other name given here on earth unto men yes. that we shall be saved, Jehovah Father, yes, Lord. other than the name of Jesus. Yes. And today we come to bring our proclamations, Jehovah Father, our sacrifices of our lips, saying you are God yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Take over this service. Take over, Take over Lord. our minds and our hearts. Take over, Take over this sanctuary, Jehovah Lord. Yes, Lord. Fill it with your presence. Fill it with your presence, O oh Lord. Yes. Oh God, saturate us, oh Father, with the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you for wisdom that is going to prevail in this house and the understanding of the scriptures, Jehovah Lord, that will prevail in our lives. And God Almighty, we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, viewers, wherever you're watching us from, we invite you in this awesome service today. We pray that today you are going to be blessed. And if you are watching us for the first time on Facebook, please do us a favor, sub, uh, follow us, like our page. You can send your praise report and, pray, and prayer request. And you can also join us on our uh, YouTube channel. We can have a communication there and you can also subscribe to it if you have not. And God will meet you at the point of your need. Amen. Amen. May Amen. we start the scripture reading? We will together. O oh Lord, you are worthy of all praise and adoration. The heavens declare your glory, O oh God, and the firmament shows your handiwork. Your greatness cannot be understood. Of all you lay the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure. Yes. They will all grow old like a garment. You will change them permanently. Cornerstone, let us therefore praise him with a shout of acclamation. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Amen. Hallelujah. Indeed, our God reigns. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus celebrate Celebrate Jesus celebrate Oh celebrate Celebrate Jesus celebrate Celebrate Jesus celebrate Oh celebrate Celebrate Jesus celebrate, celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Oh, come on and celebrate. 
is risen. Oh yes. And he is working. Yes, Lord. And he is here right now. Oh yes. We Jesus. can testify of his goodness. Oh, Lord. We can testify of his mercy. Yes, dear Lord. Oh Lord, you are risen. And we are celebrating you, Lord, today. We are celebrating you, Father, because you are real. And because you live, because you live, we can face you. Lord, we love you. We love you, Lord. Somebody just begin to thank the Lord for his goodness and for his mercy. And because he lives, we are here today. To Thank worship you him, Jesus. to adore him, Lord, for he is good, for he has Lord, proven so to be good, he has proven to be so good, like you, he has proven to be so faithful, oh, and he has trusted me today to be here, and to worship so him, the name of Lord, Lord, we bless you, we bless you, I love you, Lord. For oh, your mercy never fails me Oh my dear I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Until late in my head Oh I will see All the goodness of God, I love you, Lord. For oh, your mercy never failed me, and all my days I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up until I lay. goodness of God. All my life, all my life, you have been faithful. Oh, sing it all my life. All my life, you have been so, so good. With every with every Lord. 
Oh, the goodness of God. 
your goodness, Lord. Sing of your goodness, oh Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord, you are. You have been our strong tower, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. In times of trouble, Lord. We have trusted you, Lord, with our burdens. Lord. Yes, Lord. And we cast them all unto you, Lord. Oh, yes. Those chains, Lord. We trust you have trusted you. And you are breaking them and you are broken them, Lord. And Lord, we are in awe of your power. Once you have spoken, twice we have heard that all power belongs to you, Jesus. All power belongs to you, Lord. And so you are worthy of all praise. And so you are worthy of all our adoration. You are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. Oh, somebody just tell him that he is worthy. Thank you for breaking those chains. From breaking those chains of diseases. From breaking those chains. Those chains that were unbreakable. He is a great physician. Oh, Lord, you are our healer.
In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We proclaim, decree, and declare that power that is in the name of Jesus to break every chain is right here in this sanctuary. It is right where you are, those of you watching us online. And at this very moment, as the power is flowing, let us break those chains. Perhaps you are in a family that is chained by alcohol. You may be free, but everybody else that is an adult in your family is chained by alcohol. Perhaps you are in a family that is chained by witchcraft. Let's break the chains right now because there is power. And we just sang a little bit earlier that he is risen. And if Jesus truly is risen from the dead, and he's seated at the right hand of God Almighty in heaven. There is no chain that will remain together after this worship service. So I want you to come out of your seats. Let's fill this altar with men and women. Call those chains by name. Decree and declare they are broken. And they shall be nothing. They shall be broken. They shall be destroyed. It is the power that is in your tongue the power that is in your heart as you believe in Jesus as you believe in what God can do as you believe that this is your moment as you believe this is your hour as you believe it is right now it is no longer a religious activity it is no longer Address the chains now. Speak to them now. Pull them out and down. Break them now. In the name of Jesus. O Shato Robozika. Raita Robozanto. O Shato Robobobokanto. Hori Bobobashanto. Chains of alcohol. O Shato Robozato. Chains of witchcraft. You are no longer. You are no longer powerful. You are powerless. In the name of Jesus. Chains of poverty. O Shato Robozanto. Chains of sicknesses. From cancer. HIV, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Chains of misfortune, lies and deception. Yes, in the name of Jesus. 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 You are broken. Chains of attracting the wrong relationships. You are broken in the name of Jesus. O Shato Robo Zika. O Shato Robo Santo. Ika Shato Robo Bobo Santo. Ma Shato Robo Bobo Bobo Santo. O Shato Robo Bobo Bobo Santo. In the name of Jesus, they are broken forever. In the name of Jesus. O Shato Robo Zika, broken forever. In the name of Jesus, O Shato Robo Zika, they are broken forever. Break those chains now. It is the faith in your heart, the power of God at work. Faith in your heart, the power of God at work. O Shato Robo Zika, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there is power. And they are broken now. They must be broken completely. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They are broken. O Shato Robo Bobo In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ma Shato Robo Bobo Santo. Ika Shato Robo Bobo Santo. They will never be. 
there will never be, there will never be, in the name of Jesus, they will never bother you again. Oh, Shatarama Mazanto, Shikarabobo Santo, Hallelujah. Yes, yes, there is power, there is power, and the power is at work right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they will not follow you anymore. They will not lock you down anymore. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they will be broken permanently now. In the name of Jesus, my Ricarabobo Santo, are broken, permanently broken. In the name of Jesus, O Shatarabobo Santo, my Ricarabobo Santo, they are broken to nothingness, never to come up again. My Shatarabaganto, Ricarabobo Santo. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 They must be broken. They must be broken. In the name of Jesus. They must be broken. They must be broken. Chains you are done. Chains you are gone. Marika Rabo Santo. Shatorobobo Santo. There is power. Sing the song one more time. Hallelujah. Power. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is power. In the name of Jesus. Yes, there is power. There is power. In the name of Jesus, that name of Jesus, to break them, break them, break them, break every chain. Now hold on. Chains of being bypassed by favor. Chains of being bypassed by a good sale. Chains of being bypassed by the right kind of relationship. They are broken in the name of Jesus. That which should come into your life. That one who should be in your life right now. Those chains are broken. And favor is catching up with you. Favor is finding its way to exactly where you are in the name of Jesus. Maybe favor for business. Maybe favor for education. Maybe favor for ministry. Whatever favor that is needed to move you from where you are to where you ought to be right now is already in motion trying to locate where you are. Lift up your hands and say, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. In Jesus' name. Those of you online, please don't be left behind. It is right where you are. Thank you, Father God, for finding each one of us. Oh yes, favor, favor, favor with family, favor with employers, favor with clients and customers, favor with teachers, favor with fellow playmates, favor with those you relate with is locating you where you are. And listen to me, listen to me. Today, this very hour, as we get out of this service, you will begin getting calls. You begin finding connections that you never even thought they'll be there for you. And suddenly, another day tomorrow, after today, tomorrow, you find yourself on a different level. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Chains of alcohol. Chains of misunderstandings. Those little foxes that come to spoil that which God has entrusted upon you, whether they be human beings, or principalities, or powers of darkness, or spoken word, whatever they are, right now, they are nothing. They are no more. In the name of Jesus, because there is power in the name of 
Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break. To break every chain. 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 Every chain that you have addressed in your speaking this morning. Those of you watching us, perhaps it's at night for you. Whatever time it is, then you have addressed that chain. I want to give you guarantee. It is gone. It is gone. It is gone. Because God cannot lie. And he's just reminded us he is risen. He has reminded us there is power in the name of Jesus. You spoke that name. You spoke that power. The chains have no reason to hang around anymore. They have no justification. They are broken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a powerful applause. To break every chain. 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 Father, we bless our children. We bless their teachers. Yes, yes, we bless those present and those who are not here right now. Yes, Asking that peace that is happening yes, reach to them wherever they are. Yes, and as we release our children to go to children's church now yes, and their teachers, yes, may you follow them yes, every yes, single hour, every single moment of their lives. Yes, and the word that will be taught today to our children, yes, it will never depart from them. Yes, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shout with me, Amen. amen. To break every chain. To break every chain. You may be seated. Break every chain. There is power. There is power. In the name Children, you may live now. Oh, yes. There is power. To break every chain, 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 to break every chain. Let's just be calm in the presence of the Lord. Let's just be calm in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. I want you to hear in the stillness of your heart, the calmness of your spirit. Stillness of your spirit, the calmness of your heart. The voice of Jesus saying to you, I love you. I came down here for you. I died for your sins. Yes, I'm here with you. That love, that voice, the voice of the master. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Could you just open your mouth or your heart? to express your gratitude to Jesus for loving you. Perhaps there are things he hasn't done for you. Perhaps there are miracles you've been waiting for. But find enough reasons to say thank you, Lord. You can open up your mouth if you wish to. Those of you online, do the same. I know some of you might right now be watching me in dire in real pain and dire needs and wants. But just imagine you're alive. His grace, his mercy, his goodness. Open up your heart. If you want to open up your mouth, 
just find enough reasons to say, Jesus, I love you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for saving me. I bless you, King of all glory. I magnify you, my Lord. Thank you for finding me where I was and bringing me into salvation. Thank you for the education you have given me, Lord. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my business. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my mom and dad. Thank you for the brothers and sisters you have given me. Thank you for people who care for me. Some I know, some I don't even know. Yes, Lord, I'm never alone. I'm never alone. You have put me in a community of individuals that care for me. Thank you for the angels you dispatch to serve me. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who is always right here, always with me. Thank you for your love that never fails and your faithfulness which is also your name, the faithful one. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Would you say amen with me? Amen. I didn't hear you. Amen, church. Amen. amen. Are those of you online say the amen you know how to say? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. Well, the praise team has got a special selection. And before they share the special selection with us, May I take the moment to welcome you to Cornerstone Faith Assembly Church. Those of you in the sanctuary and those of you watching us online. What a joy to serve the Lord, to worship the Lord, to get together in whichever ways and means we are together. Worshipping the King of Kings. After the voices of the praise and worship team, the preacher of the day will stand here and come and decree the purposes of God for our lives. So I want you to open your heart. Let this song coming through minister to you. And then after the song, Pastor America Ranja one of us here, a pastor of distinction, uh, a dear sister we very much love, will be coming shortly. Amen. Let's praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is bigger. Amen. Amen. Our God is bigger than all our problems. Yes. Our God is bigger than all our fears. Yes. Our God is bigger than all the questions that we have. Yes. Our God is bigger. Yes. Hallelujah. You can just clap our hands. Bigger. Bigger than all my problems. Bigger than all my fears. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger than our questions. Bigger than anything, God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger, bigger than all my problems, bigger than all my fears. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger than all my questions, bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger than all the shadows that fall across my breath. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger than all the question, bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Oh, bigger than all my problems, bigger than all my fears. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger, bigger than all my questions, bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger than all the giants of pain and unbelief. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger than any hunger, bigger than any 
bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Be bigger, bigger than all my problems, bigger than all my fears. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger than all my questions, bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. God is bigger, bigger, bigger. He God is bigger than every mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger, bigger than all my questions, bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Bigger, bigger than all my problems, bigger than all my fears. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. God, God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. God is, God is bigger than any mountain that I cannot, cannot see. Give him a mighty applause. Yes, he is bigger than your mind can fathom. So why don't we just stand up and give this God that is bigger than anything. Let's be upstanding as we give God a standing of years as we tell him, God, you are bigger. You are bigger than my mind can comprehend. And that's why we call the brother I have. I give you the glory. That was a dress rehearsal. Now I want us to do it for real. And if these equipments know that God is greater than anything we can ever have, let us give the Lord a mighty Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Whilst you're still standing up, I want you to get your Bibles and open the book of, of Genesis chapter 26. And we're going to read two, three verses and then you shall be seated. As you're finding Genesis 26, verse 17 to 18, I just want to thank my spiritual authority, Bishop Dr. Francis M. Kamau. Don't you just love our, our, our pastor? The man of God. Please, I know you want to read the Bible, but let's give him a mighty applause. Oh, Bishop, we appreciate you. We are the sons of the ministry, and we are what we are by what you have agreed to do. And we owe all that to you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be very gracious unto you. Amen. We're so humbled. We're so humbled. And how many of you know that we are not beginning the service? We are just saying a conclusion. Because how can you... <laughs> How can you purport to begin a service after the service has already been there? And I just want to say to the service that has just ended, I'm here to say the grace and the benediction and to God be all the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the Bible says in the, let's appreciate the wonderful praise and worship team. We can give them a mighty applause as they have their seats. Thank you so much. You're looking so beautiful as ever. May the Lord bless you. So now we're on Genesis chapter 26. A topic that I have named 
Redigging the wells of revival. Redigging the wells of revival. And the Bible says in verse 17, Then Isaac departed from there and pitched his tent at Gerar, at the valley of Gerar, and dwelt there. Verse 18. And Isaac dug again. Tell your neighbor, dug again. Now I want to be very prophetic with this message. Dug again means that the well was still there. They were there before. And the deposit that God began to put in your spirit was there before. Before what? Before the Philistines came and they stuck some rubbish. They stuck some rubble. They stuck some nonsense inside your well. And you don't function the way you are supposed to be functioning. But the devil is a liar. And this day we sop him with a notice. We break loose from his hostage. And we say we are digging yet again. Isaac dug again the wells of water which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them up after the death of Abraham. Praise the name of Jesus. I know that Abraham might have died. But he's a typo of my God. Look at your neighbor through your mask and tell him, my God is still alive. My God is still alive. And the covenant established by my God is still at work. Praise the name of Jesus. I'll dash to Isaiah chapter 12. Don't mind if you don't get there. It's just one verse, one sentence. Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3 says, Therefore, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. I will repeat it again. Isaiah 12 verse 3. Therefore, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. You can have your seat in the presence of the Lord. Who is in the presence of the Lord everywhere around here? Oh my God. We're so grateful for your presence. Every born again child of God is given a spring of water that is supposed to be flowing from your spirit. Every born again. How many people are born again here? If you are not, we shall pray for you at the end of the service. There is a deposit of the spirit of God that came in the inside of you when you said, I do to God. You may not have attained the full measure of everything that God intended you to function in. But the moment you said, I do, a measure of the spirit of God was deposited in the inside of you. And in this scripture that we have read in Genesis chapter 26, God is beginning to do a quick work in us. I said, I will be prophetic in this message. Did you think that we are going to be in this earth forever? Do you not believe that these are the end of the end days? Then, don't you believe that in these last days, that the Lord will begin to do a work? He will begin to do a divine acceleration so that we can accomplish everything that he intended for us to accomplish. So the spirit of God is in this sanctuary. The spirit of God is hovering in the face of the earth. And the one duty that he is doing is to stir your spirit and redig the wells that he has deposited in you. Remember we said, the well is already there. You remember when you got born again, Minister Margaret, and you could not sleep. You used to sleep and just find yourselves loving the Lord. You remember the first time that you were filled with the Holy Spirit. And how that you continued and you were just saying, Oh Lord, I love you, Shandarabha.
And, and you would rise up and continue again. But as you continued, somebody slapped on you and told you, mm, what are these things that you say? And you shied from that. And it was for a moment, temporarily, looked like it had been covered up. But I came to tell somebody, stir up the water. Stir it up, child of God. Stir it up. It is there in its authenticity. And the other of it is God your father. Some people fear speaking in tongues because they say, supposing somebody thinks I have a demon. Mm -mm, it is not a demon. Its authenticity is in heaven. It has the seal of, it is the seal of God. And so I'll be talking about, a, a lot about water. And I'll be speaking about water. And, and, and uh, the scripture of Genesis talks about Redigging the well. And as I looked and searched for the definition of a well, I realized that especially this type that is called the Atesian well, it is a jet. It's almost like a jet of water, which you reach when you have gone through layers and layers. And I, I, I think I'm not wrong if I say that... Uh, Brother Wilson knows very much about this. Maybe he's an eyewitness or an example of this. And when you want to do a well, you go through the initial surface of the soil, isn't it? And then you go some other strata. And you go through another and another and another strata of soil until you hit the water. And the geologists would say that after you have gone through that, you find water that will not just be still water. The water will begin to gush up. I think Benja is also a witness. He's looking at me like, have you forgotten, Pastor Mary, even me, I have a, I was sinking a well. He's also an eyewitness and a doer of this. The water begins to splash out. And this type that is called the Atesian well, it springs and does not require a pump. <laughs> My goodness. Somebody's getting a liberation. The river that God is digging inside you is going to be a river, a splashing, a gushing out, a spring that will not require the pump. It will flow freely. There will be forces there that will be forcing it to come out. Do you know why you are struggling too much? Do you know it? It's because you are operating from the surface. You are putting so much effort. It's like a car. You say, go, 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 go. You know, my grandchild, she loves to imitate how we drive and she does like this. You try to push that car. You try to do sarakasi. You try to do gymnasium. But nothing is coming out. I came to tell you today, full of the spirit of God, in the anointing that is in this house, child of God, you shall not struggle again. You shall not borrow again. You shall not imitate the favorite a preacher of the television again. Because out of your belly, there is going to be the flow of living waters that will flow freely. Praise the name of Jesus. Pastor Julius was very prophetic this last Thursday. Oh my God, if you didn't come, you really missed it big time. He began to charge us on how he took the word of God literally and he told God, reveal this word. He waited on the first day before his cup of I think it was a kasturungi before he sleeps. And the first day, nothing happens. That's what he said on Thursday. And the second day, nothing happens. The fourth and the fifth, and, but he used to be so religious. How many of you know that Julius is our Bible encyclopedia? He used to do it. Yes, give it up for my brother. He did it the first 
the second, the third, until he almost forgot it. You know, that is how some of you have done. You say, my God shall supply all my needs according to the riches. Hallelujah. And then you go home. And the superior is looking at you like, ate, ate uriko umesema nini. Because luck, ime kukondolea much. Come, you understand what I'm saying? So that word was not revealing at all. But he told us, and that is what I took that day, that one day, the spirit of God, he was talking about the move of God, the spirit of God invaded his territory. And he suddenly saw the verses that he was always contemplating on and seeing, he saw them suddenly reveal themselves and the power of God hit the place where he was sleeping. And he held on to himself to a, a piece of wood until it broke. And the Lord of that verse manifested himself. We are living in the days of manifestation. We are living in the day of the manifestation of the spirit of God. And don't be left behind. And why is the Lord wanting us to manifest the spirit of God? It's because the whole of creation, the whole of the political arena, the whole of the people who are in, in, in wrong places, in the nightclubs, in the pubs, in the hospitals, they are waiting for you. They are waiting for me. Not to show my latest suit, even if it is from wherever. They are waiting to see the manifestation of the glory of God. This has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with God. And it is for somebody else. Let me move it forward. I'm going to today, so again before I do, water is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. And in the New Testament, when you see this water, it's talking about the rivers of water represent the Holy Spirit's presence and the power out of Jesus. So this water, we are talking about the rivers of living water represent the Holy Spirit's presence and the power poured out on Jesus. And on Thursday, which I also repeat, Pastor Julius began to tell people, if you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, desire to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's power. It's dunamis. It's what you require for the season. And so for a few minutes, let me just talk about the obstacles, the obstacles that stuck, may have stuck your well, so that you stopped functioning how the Lord intended for you to function. Number one, I named fear. And I said, fear is false evidence that appears real. Those of you who are farmers, you might be familiar, and I don't know where I was going, but the, I don't know where I was going, but there was such a real scarecrow. This thing that you dress, the farmers dress it, and it looks like the real thing. You put a shirt there, and when you are moving there, you think, they do that to scare the birds from coming to devour. And fear, oftentimes, it's operating as a scarecrow. And it is not the real one. The Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy 1.7, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. And the preacher reminded us to call these things in the rivers. From the rivers. So you say, he has given us a spirit of a sound mind. And in sound mind, you evaluate yourself who you are. You look at yourself on the mirror. And you tell yourself, Mary, who are you? You are not who your father name called you. You are not what your school teacher, the mathematics, one who used to tell you, Waboy, madafu, how do you see? You know some of them, they messed our image, isn't it? But your image is what God says about you. God says, I 
called you by my name. You are mine. God says I've created you so that you might uh, uh, manifest my glory. The Lord says there's nothing that is impossible with God and with you who is working with God. You start seeing yourself in the rightness of mind and then you love people because without love you are a sounding gog. Then you know, you rivers to Nine and Apande in Guinea. Then the power of God will come. So the power will come automatically, but it will not come because you shouted louder, higher decibels. You are seeing yourself in the mind of God, you are loving God's people, and you are getting this power for the glory of God. So the power will flow inside you. Praise the name of Jesus. And the first story that I want to narrate here is Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 where he describes the serpent as being so, so cunning. And he went to uh, Adam and, and uh, he went to Eve and said, Did the Lord say? Oh my goodness. That voice sounds very familiar, Pamela, to many of you. Cynthia, you remember when you did the first miracle, you performed the first miracle, or you did the first weekend challenge in the school and people got saved. And then the devil came and said, Hey, Sasa. And they quenched the fire of God inside you. I speak and break the spirit of fear right now. Words of discouragement that were spoken to you. I break them in the mighty name of Jesus. Fear operates with doubt. Doubt is the sister. They walk together. So the devil there's doubt in this man, in this woman of, of God that had been created in the image of God that used to walk in the cool of the day with the Lord. You know, that time it was not like what it is right now, I believe. They used to walk with God in the presence, in the cool of the day and everything and everything. And now the doubt came and the, 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 this first couple, they went to hide. And they asked, why are you hiding? They said, it's because I am afraid. And you would wonder, afraid of what? And Jesus, and God asked them, who told you that you are naked? What is the devil in you? What is he telling you? Oh, I come from a bad family. Oh, in that church they look down upon me. Hey, 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 hey. In that church they look down upon me. They don't give me an opportunity. Me, I'm the one who is called least. Ishindwe katika jina la Yesu Christo. You are perfect in the way that you are existing. In the eyes of God. Fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. And you are mine. That is Isaiah 43. And Proverbs 28 says. The wicked they flee. So though, the, though no one is pursuing them. But the righteous are as bold as a lion. Tell your neighbor as bold. <laughs> as bold as a lion. As a lion. Now, you know, I was in a matatu and they tried to do some sarakasi on me. They wanted to, you know, I was chit-chatting on my phone. I had really missed my friends. I had traveled out. And then the people there, they realized that there was somebody who had pandered at Ziti Cabanas and he was aiming at my phone, my beautiful Yuri phone. So me, I didn't even have. So they continued talking and the man alighted at Bellevue. And when he alighted, they started speaking stories of, hey, hey, uriona fine uyo mutu aringia. That man was aiming at this phone and this lady, blah, blah, blah. And they talked and they talked and I decided to ignore them. Are you together in the story? So, when now we reach somewhere that is a bit risky, near country bus, you know, you no go zone. Now even the conductor, he, akajikaza, akasema, you lady, can you put your phone down? Here is very dangerous. And I said, you guys, you have tried me all this time. Sasa And I turned to them. I held my kabag like this. And incidentally, that kabag had a few shillings. You know, nowadays we don't work with money. Isn't it? Mom, what should I say? Mpesa. But there was a few shillings. You know, they smell money. I'm not refuting that there were thugs there. So I held my kabag in fear of my few shillings. And I looked at them and I told them, Hey, why are you scaring me all that time? I have a gun. Hey. They looked at me. You know, so, I wondered now, is the gun inside the kabag? 
Or is it now in the body? I didn't even look like I dressed a gun. You know, the guns are dressed here. And because I had gone to Uganda, you know, it's funny. In Uganda, almost everybody's, I, I know you know. She, she has confirmed before I said it. Everybody walks with a gun. And the people who are driving me, they told me, here we don't even fear the police. We don't even fear what everybody has. I don't know what they told me they fear, but they don't fear a gun. Because everybody has a gun. Even in Cornerstone at the gate right now, the Ascari there is supposed to be having two guns. And, and the woman who is selling her sukumas, if she dares to have one, she has a gun. So when I told them, I have a gun, and they all woke up and it was like, I, this lady might not be serious. So I told them, you saw the thief coming in the car. You did not raise any alarm for me to deal with him perpendicularly and squarely. Because why should he want to pick my phone which is mine. And you leave him to go sport free. And now when he went in Bellevue, now we are in town, you are putting fear in me that there is a man who wanted to steal my phone. I told them, how come that now me, who is the rightful owner of the phone, should walk in fear and that man who is a thief and the others who are, by the way, I address them, I told you, and I know a thief does not go alone. There are some of the the other accompaniments are right here. I told them I have a gun. I have the power of the Holy Spirit. I told them you cannot dare touch me. You cannot dare touch me. And you cannot dare touch mine. Because I'm covered with the blood of Jesus. And right there, the story is good. I invited them for an altar call. And I told them, if you are here, in fact, I was laying my hands on the conductor because the conductor was being told he had colluded with those people who, asked, who, who wanted to steal and so on and so forth. Those I told, if I told it is true, I lay my hands on you and I tell you, never do it again, my son, in the name of Jesus. Get born again. And I came out of the matatu and I looked right and I looked left and I went to where I was going. God has not given us a spirit of fear. But he has given us the spirit of power, of love, and a sound mind. Child of God, if you've got to operate in this power, get the right validation of yourself. And it's not in terms of what you have or don't have. It is in terms of what your father has. Number two, and I'm running out of time. The second thing that you've got to deal with if you will stack off the, the river, the well that God has put in the inside of you is pride. Tell your neighbor pride. Pride goes before destruction. And the haughty spirit before a fall. Pride comes when God begins to lift us up. Especially we ministers. You do a service and something really magnanimous happens and you go saying, I have raised the dead. Come and see Mary. I prayed for a cripple and the cripple walked. Let me tell you. True story. I prayed for a young man when I was working in the Nairobi hospital. And uh, I prayed him to salvation. And then after salvation, I uh, started praying for him. He had a kidney problem. And I don't know why, but I really liked it. I, 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 I was just really connected to this young man. He was this is a young man from Tanzania. And I used to pray for him. And I told God, God, I know that you are going to heal this boy and whatever. And lo, one day, the baby died. The boy died. And so I remember going to God and I told him, no, you God, I don't even think you are for real. How could you die? How did you allow him to die? The Lord, in his own knowledge, he knew that I was not able to to handle that if it had happened that time. But I still would tell you that three weeks ago, a group of women in Pasateris, one of them, we meet to pray for the nation at the Arboretum. And I remember at the conclusion, there is a lady who said, pray for my, my niece's daughter, the only child she got after a long time, who had got a home in the heart. And we had prayed until the presence of God had become manifested in that place. And I remember 
the spirit of God suddenly took over. And most that group has many medics because we fetched from where I used to work and everywhere. We were just a couple of us. And full of the spirit of God, we began to close that heart. And I remember I said, you, patent doctors at Teriosas, whether you are a PDA or you are an ASD, it's the hole which is either at the ventricle or at the atria. Whether you are a mama, whether you are a tetralogy or fallo, we were speaking those words, but full of this, I'm not exaggerating. We command you to close now. In the name of Jesus, close now. And then, under that anointing, by the way, in the anointing, we were just behaving, jumping, and whatever. The woman was scheduled to go to India on the Monday. It was on a Saturday. Our prayer is usually on the Saturday. And on the Saturday, on the, on the Monday, she was going to go to India. And I think I said, but I did not know I said it. I told them, let the doctor check you up. So, they continued and went to India. I think on the Tuesday. They took the Kenya Airways. Oh, and to them, they wasted their, <laughs> their airfare. And they went all the way to India. And they examined the baby. And the India, in India, you know, India is big in terms of investigation and therapy and everything. Msidharawatu. Don't think of yourself too highly. India is very advanced in medical. So they examined the child and they told them, your child has got no anomaly. Go back home. And I remember I sat right there where mom was seated on the Sunday that this uh, Apostle Ren was ministering. And I just took my phone, mistakenly, and I saw, reported on the group, the testimony that the child went to India and came back and there is no hole in the heart. And the Lord knew that if he had used us to do that miracle, that time we would have puffed up. We would have opened Jesus Christ International Holy Liver Anointing uh, Heart Heart Related uh, Miraculous Ministry International. But he knew this girl is coming of age. And when this happened, I just lifted up my hands and I said to you, God be the glory. You are the one that have done it. And may all the glory and all the honor return to you. I will not go to the third one. Because of time. But I want to tell you, my sisters and my brothers. We are living in the days some would call the days of an Elijah revolution. That you will declare and it will become. And not so that everybody knows that you are a great prophet or a great woman of God. It is so that the name of the Lord will be glorified. The Bible says, greater things shall you do. Jesus saying, and Pastor Julius, Bible Encyclopedia, I began to wonder, how can I do greater than Jesus? How? Are we reasoning? Sasa, see, now not speed so that we learn this one and then we go. 
How can I do more than Jesus? And still remain in this world of the living. The last aspect I wanted to bring out is the one of self-pity and rejection. That says, oh, yeah, me, 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 warm. me, I'm just a worm. Me, what the rest? Nanny, I'm a dead dog. Where you are extremely low. So at one point, you are extremely low. You say, I am a dead dog. I'm motherless. I am from Kichagi. Kibe toka Kichagi ya kwetu. Kimenisho ni kwetu kule ni natoka rumwe. Hey, please. Please absorb this. Then we finish. Senior, I come from the least, the least of the people. Minister Margaret. You know how you look at yourself and say, natoka huko tu sasa hata nikianza. So you are very, very low. And on the other extreme, I'm finishing. I'm finishing. Don't give up on me. On the other extreme, you are here in the sky. I had a beautiful example, but time is really going. But in my course of duty, there are people that our company sponsored to take them abroad. And I could see them working the visa the first day. They have never known what is a visa. Even some of them to acquire the passport. And I walked with them, we walked with them, they acquired all the documents, and then the time came to go, Maju. And I held them, this is how you enter the plane, this is how you sit, now this is the bell, and then you win. I'm a very good person in orientating that, because I suffered so much myself when I began. But the moment you get into that individual, in that boy, it rises up to the air, she becomes a commandeer. She tells you, Sasa hapa tuko ni Uganda. Now we are overpassing Uganda. I don't wonder. Hey, munaenda Europe, and you are going like this, you wonder, where does Uganda come? The person becomes a commandeer. She hijacks, especially. <laughs> they hijack. Let me not be gender sensitive. They hijack. Wana kwambia, sasa tuko hapa. Sijui nini. Hey, haya. And then there's a time we were even in an airport, I think in Frankfurt. And they even told me, no, we are supposed to go to that gate. And I could not even hold my peace. So I told them, okay, go, and we shall meet in Nairobi. They know too much. First time. Would God trust you with so much if he trusted you with a little more? Wouldn't you be stepping on our heads? Unakanyanga huyu? Yes, praise and worship, please come. Unakanyanga huyu ju? Unakanyanga huyu mwingine? Alafu unakanyanga huyu ndio ufike hapo. That's why he would say, I would rather give you a little by a little. Go to the children of Israel. I've already given you the land that you are going to dwell in. But I would that you displace them kidogo kwa kidogo, a little by a little. So that you don't step on everybody. Oh, yeah. Bible also says that it is the honor of the king to conceal the, the Lord for God to conceal a matter. And then he leaves you to discover it. To discover it. And to use it. A little by a little. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah. Discovering it a little by a little. Yeah. And so my submission to you, my brothers and my sisters, God is interested to bless you. Amen. Oh, he longs to see you yes. walking and exemplifying the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yes. But can you stand to be blessed? Can you maintain sanity when the people in that field where you are doing a mega crusade, they start throwing their their wheelchairs and their mikongojos and they start walking. Can you stand to be counted? And the majority of us, we are either operating where you are seeing yourself, that was my submission, as a worthless worm. So, unaimbanga munasema at me, worthless worm, and I even know it is in the Bible. Between now being a worm and being this person who wants to Step on everybody's. Did you see? Did you see the great apostle appeared? And the people started falling down under the anointing. Receive it. Hallelujah. Can you maintain 
the sanity between the two of them. Where you are neither so uselessly a dead dog. Because honestly, a dead dog, sasa itafanya nini na ayo, mam. Itatupeleka wapi sasa. Sindio? Itatupeleka mahali. Actually, you are so dead. And another one is so erated. They are so high, they are springing up. And I know that Paul has said in one of the scriptures that we are carrying this treasure <laughs> in earthen vessels. And yet what we receive is not on our own. I came to tell you, God is willing and is ready to use you. Amen. God is willing and is ready to help you to redig the wells. Amen. Those cripples that you are supposed to be calling to walk, God is ready to use you. Amen. <laughs> but are you ready to maintain the sanity and the way to maintain the sanity is to know it is not of me it is for my master that is why pastor Julius you can do greater <laughs> you can do greater because you will not credit it on yourself you will not credit it on yourself. You are going to give God the glory. Yeah. And I came to realize that if you give God the glory, you will also give him your rejection. You will give him your abuse. When you, re you get somebody who slaps on your, on your face, because you didn't get the glory, even the slap you will tell him, hey, mungu ata iyo kabiriana nae. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. No mind has ever comprehended what the Spirit of God has in store for us. I want you to went, we'll stand up just for a moment. Our time is spent. Let your living waters flow. Begin to speak to your Father in heaven. Begin to validate, validate your life. Makiko kaseke pete koba sanda robosira. Idi ni makaribo seire ko. Oh, rabe indere be siere ba kalalalo sira be. God, you are willing, you are willing, Lord, to give us the kingdom. Oh, sheri ebe se. Ndario makika tiro sira ba kande be. You are willing, Jesus. That's the reason for which you are manifested, oh God. Jesus, today help me, Lord. Help me. This message is also for me, Lord. To operate, oh God Almighty, Jehovah. Jehovah. Master Despotes. Today we are willing. I'm willing, Lord. Jehovah, as a fellowship, as a church, as a body of Jesus Christ, we are willing to be used by you, Jesus, oh, to carry your glory, Lord, to carry the treasure that you have entrusted to us, even in our three vessels, Lord. That are susceptible, that are vulnerable, that are likely my father. Oh, somebody reach out unto God. Just for one minute, lift your hands up to the Lord. In one and tell the Lord, Sharibo. Oh God, I receive that divine enablement, Lord. Oh, Help me to deal with the things that have stuck my river. My river, my God. The well of the Spirit of God. That is supposed to be a deep attention well. That has been stuck by the Philistines. The type of the devil. Help me today, Jehovah God. Unstuck my river today. Unstuck it, Holy Ghost, today. Unstuck my river today, Lord. Oh. 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 Oh.
He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Just receive it. He's doing it. It's not spectacular. It's not a must that you do a somersault here and roll. Although if he pushes you to roll, it's okay. But he's doing it. Receive it. And I prophesy under the anointing of the law. <laughs> that out of your belly. Rivers of living water. Springs of living waters. Shall flow. To the glory. And to the honor. Of the law. God bless Let your living water flow from our soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and say, Go through in every situation. Thank you for performing the miracles for us, Lord, so that now we can freely go saying, truly, Jesus has touched me. Truly, the work of the Holy Spirit is so evident in me. Oh, thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Please be seated for just a moment, those in the sanctuary. Let's praise the Lord again for the word and the ministry. Thank you so much. Mary for bringing such a powerful uh, revelatory word of the Lord. Give the servant of the Lord a good hand. Amen. My moment now is to transition us to our last act of worship together. And this has to do with your self-sacrifice. It also has to do with you honoring commitments we have made to the Lord. So there's, on your screen you will see channels how you can pay your tithes and how you can give your love offerings and gifts of different kinds that you have separated for the Lord. Those of you in the sanctuary, you do have uh, the same channels. If you prefer an envelope on your seat, the seat next to you has got an envelope there. Please take the envelope, put whatever you're putting there, and then prophesy to it, speak to it. When you send through a pesa or a check, prophesy to it and tell it to go and do the work of the Lord and tell it to come back to you a hundred times and a hundred times fold. Now there's a card for those of you in the sanctuary and the card is that which we use to collect data. Please give us your name, your telephone number, the service you attended, 31st of October, and this would be the first service. And then if you have children that you came with who have gone to children's church, please give us their name and their ages. And as you are doing that, I believe we have a few remarks. Please remember we have a special meeting on Thursday at 5 o'clock. This is the Holy Ghost meeting. This is the meeting where God goes deep in each one of our hearts. And thank you, Pastor Julius, for ministering to us so ably on this past Thursday on prophetic move of God and the, way, the new wave. All right, uh, Washira is here with me now. Thank you, Bishop. I want to take this opportunity to appreciate and acknowledge our online viewers.
is always a great joy to have you join us online, even share and like and comment, and we appreciate you. I have some names that I'll mention. Uh, thank you, Hempstone Hems, for joining us online. John Bosco, Mary James, Busumolao, Anjeraine, Chantel Paris, Lucy Waidera, Kate K. Wanjiri, Antonio Gutu, Pauline Kin uh, Kinyanjui, Lewins Lewinsky, Yetonga, Zakaria Oyugi, Mashua Geshunji, Collins Harrison Odiambo, Kimani Kamau, Fidelis Zena, Samuel M. Kiara, George Shikejo, Sam, uh, Simon Wangare, Joseph Kingati, Kimari, Mike Sadera, Paris Kiarie, Agnes Wanjiko, and so many more watching online. We appreciate you. God bless you. And thank you for always joining us. And we request you to continue following us Tuesday through Friday. We have our online worship services going on at 12.45 and up to 1.45 in the afternoon. Uh, we appreciate you for always joining us, and thank you. Amen. Let's praise the Lord for Ashira, and thank you again, all of you who are with us, those of you in the sanctuary, those of you online. Now, various groups have been asked to meet in their respective corners. The men have a meeting. You go out to my left, which most of you will be your right-hand side. Men, you know where you meet, and this is all the men. I understand the queens and princesses are asked to remain behind very briefly. Now, this coming Sunday is a very, very special Sunday because this will be a Thanksgiving Sunday in honor of what God has done and in particular to me, giving me strength back to come and worship him, to be right where I know I belong, to come and continue serving and worshiping and also to be enjoined with you all of you face to face in fellowship. Now, many of you would have visited me in my home when I was sick. A good number of you could not come because you don't know where I live. All, it is too far for you. All, you are too busy. All, many of you primarily, we all feared COVID. Now we are together in the house of the Lord. Now we can worship together. So even if you are not planning to come next Sunday, even those of you watching us online, this coming Sunday, whatever you must do, do it to be together here. It's a special thanksgiving. And where there is thanksgiving, there's always a special visitation from on high. So brothers and sisters and friends, the best thing you can do to me is to invite somebody who does not know Jesus Christ or somebody who does not come to church. Or somebody you know, they are weak in the spirit right now and they need some encouragement. Please do not come alone on Sunday uh, and do not come with only your regular friends. Please add one more so that we can encourage and reach out to so many others. Do me a favor, come with at least one more person. Perhaps you'll have led the person to Christ or you want the person to come to be blessed in the house of the Lord. And please don't go looking for people who go to other churches. Look for those who do not go to church. And there are many. See, you know them. Yes. They are in our homes, isn't it? Yes. We work with them. Even those who go to churches once in a while, it's good to invite them. So don't be limited, but come with at least one person who does not attend Cornerstone, and especially those who do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. All right, I believe we are ready to release you. Remember on Thursday, we shall be here live at 5 o'clock. It's a prophetic hour, prophetic moment. Shall we arise? I'd like to apologize to you. We have ran over a few minutes. But anyways, when the Spirit of the Lord comes, who can say anything different? If you have given online, uh, lift up your hand as we pray. If you're in the sanctuary, lift up your envelope and the card. Now we want to, com uh, to command a blessing. With the power and authority from heaven, we open every well oh, yes. the enemy had sealed yes. in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Wells of healing. Yes. 
wealth of prosperity, yes. wealth of academic prowess, oh, yes. wealth of good jobs, whatever wealth that the devil has shut, yes. we decree they are redug. Yes. They are flowing again. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit at work with us. And we choose to remain the head and never the tail. the tail. We choose to be above and never beneath. We choose to be blessed in the city and be blessed where? In, in the, the countryside. countryside. Wherever you go, the Lord is with you. Amen. Remember, he says, Emmanuel, yes. God together with us. Oh, yes. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and, and the, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now. And forevermore. Amen. Amen. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of our Father forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Bring the card and the envelope. Let's meet in our corners immediately after that. Praise Him.